I'm Bob Sees from Purely Custom, and we're here today uh, with Pork McGlynn. He is the owner of Psychologic, and Psychologic is a cycling analysis center uh, here in Scottsdale, Arizona. He is one of the premier uh, fitters uh, out there in the world, and one of our one of our fit partners. Uh, he's here today to help us explain and show uh, how all the Purely Custom uh, tools help fitters uh, get the exact fit for all of their clients. Thanks very much, Bob. Purely Custom has been a longtime partner of Cyclologic, and we've collaborated together on a lot of the tools and technology that we're going to see during the, these demonstrations today. We use Purely Custom tools in all our fit education for retailers here at Cyclologic, and in my opinion, they're by far and away the leaders in fit technology, fit tools, and in really genuinely understanding the needs of fitters and their clients. So the heart and soul of the SciCycle is this CompuTrainer Lab Load Unit. So this is their most accurate power measurement and load generation device. What's special about the purely custom transmission is it contains three reduction gears that are joined by a set of chains and belts that provide an accurate reproduction of how a wheel feels in the real world. Now the reason that we're interested in eliminating the wheel is because a wheel runs on a roller that creates friction, that heats up the air in the tire, it actually increases and changes the load the more you ride or the more that you are involved in that analysis session. So when you put a transmission system in here, there's no heat transfer, there is no change in the amount of load that's generated or in the amount of load that's measured and fed back to us on the PC at the front of the unit. So this structure here provides the most accurate, the most reproducible power measurement and load generation of any system on the market. It's joined to the front end of the bike by a Gates carbon belt drive and this actually helps create a little bit more road feel because the belt itself actually feels um, a little bit softer than riding a chain. Because there's so much mechanicals in back here the belt drive itself softens up the ride a bit and makes it feel a little bit more like real life out on the road. So the Gates carbon belt drive is joined to the purely custom sizing crank. This sizing crank here is adjustability from 155 millimeters to 185 millimeters. The adjustment is accomplished by loosening these two bolts and then sliding the crank arm back and forward to get the crank length that you want to test. This has two functions. One, it allows you to determine the optimal crank length for the athlete but it also allows you if they have a massive leg length discrepancy or some reason that you'd like to have one side shorter than the other this is not a cam based system which means that you can have a short crank on one side and a longer crank on this side or vice versa in order to create a fitting scenario or a solution for a customer that might work better for them the Gates carbon belt drive is also very safe so because you're not dealing with a chain and teeth from a fitter's perspective working down here or if you ever have you know customers in the store who are curious about things or children it's a much safer system to have and work around. A key feature in performing a static bike fit is putting the crank at exactly 90 degrees so you can determine where the knee is in relation to the pedal axle. The purely custom sizing crank has a nice feature that has a spirit level built into the crank arm that allows you to, when you're looking at the relationship of the knee relative to the pedal, you can use the spirit level here to make sure the crank is exactly level rather than not being quite parallel to the ground. Once you have that in place, then you can duplicate the ankling pattern that you want the rider to have or that they have when they naturally pedal. Then you can use your plumb bob or your laser to measure where the knee is relative to the pedal axle. The Purely Custom Psi Cycle is based on an XY coordinate movement system. What we're going to demonstrate first is moving the rear column, which the saddle is connected to, in the X axis. So we're going to move it back and forward so as you can see what's happening. As we turn this wheel, you can see you can adjust the X or Y coordinate backwards or forwards with a large amount of accuracy. Here we're moving it back and forward a little bit more than two centimeters but you can also see that we can tune it to a tiny amount of movement so you can move it as little as a millimeter at a time. This level of precision not only helps you to guide the athlete to a better position but it really helps you after the fit getting the most accurate XY coordinate possible 
for defining that perfect position. One of the most important principles of, bi of a bike fit is the notion of specificity. One of the beauties of the adjustment of the size cycle is that you can make those changes while the athlete is actually pedaling. This may not be appropriate for every adjustment, but there are some adjustments where when the athlete's pedaling, their sense of what a five millimeter change or even a 10 millimeter change can make can be tuned in by making the adjustments while they're actually pedaling. And that's one of the beauties of this system. You can make those adjustments dynamically as they're pedaling under load and get that feedback from the athlete or from your motion analysis system or from the CompuTrainer software itself as to what difference those changes made. Adjusting the front end of the bike in the X column or in the X axis is identical to the back end of the bike using the wheel and the bottom of the side cycle unit. When you're adjusting the, the Y coordinate, either the front or the rear, sometimes you want to make large changes and you want to look at those changes quickly. Every side cycle comes with a drill that allows you to make those changes extremely quickly. So when we want to lower the front end, maybe more than just a few millimeters, it allows us to higher it or lower it large amounts at the one time. The Purity Custom Size Cycle is designed to be friendly for time trial fitting and also for triathlon fitting. Part of the accommodations for the different front ends in the bike and for taller and larger athletes is that the whole front tray, which contains the CompuTrainer control unit and the laptop that controls the load, you can move this out of the way by simply sliding it further forward. One of the other features here is some athletes are distracted by looking at data. So this whole unit can be turned so they can see everything that's going on or if the fitter really wants to see what's going on themselves and doesn't want the athlete to be distracted by it, this whole uh, front unit can rotate in order to facilitate exactly what you'd like the athlete to see or what the fitter would like to see themselves. The Purely Custom Size Cycle is designed as a very precise tool to control load and to analyze what happens with the cyclist as your fitting session progresses. As you'll see here, we're changing the load for the cyclist as they're pedaling. When people are pedaling at low loads, they generate force in a different way. It's important during the fit to look at the athlete and their performance at a variety of loads, given that there are a variety of different situations and loads in every cycling situation. The Purely Custom Saddle Angle Tool allows you to make very precise adjustments to the saddle and understand exactly what has changed. Furthermore, when you're done with a bike fit, one of the critical comfort parameters is that angle of the saddle. So if they're purchasing a new bike or if they want to duplicate the position on another bike, knowing exactly what degree the saddle angle is at can be a tremendously helpful dimension to have to ensure that they have absolute comfort. Here we're using the size cycle saddle angle adjustment in conjunction with the saddle angle tool. The side cycle has two screws that are opposed to each other in a cam kind of a fashion. When I want to make an adjustment I loosen one and I tighten the other and you can make micro adjustments to the angle of the saddle. You can see with the saddle angle tool that it's adjusting and you're getting a very precise iteration of the exact angle of the saddle. This can be very very helpful when attempting to transfer this position onto an actual bike.